Atlas Copco is an international Swedish company leader in the provision of industrial solutions since 1873. The products and services include from gas and air compressors to construction and mining equipments, power tools, as well as assembly systems. The company is an economic emblem of its country. Atlas Copco is present in more than 55 countries and has operations in more than 170 markets. Slowly, our company has been reducing the personnel from 33,000 in the 2006 to a little bit more than 27,000 employees nowadays. But, on the other hand, their global turnover has been rising steadily with an invoice level that is now over than 7,000 million of euros per year. The victims of that employee reduction are mostly people from their branch houses in Latin America. In Mexico, Venezuela, Brazil, Chile, Bolivia, Peru and Argentina, the company has been involved in labor and penal trials and there were only a few cases where the demands of the dismissed people could prosper in their petitions. Above all, because of the important political context they usually have in each country where they have commercial operations, and also because of the very influent lawyers they usually hire to defend the capital of the company. In the process of these claims, there are many different types, depending on the country and the capacity of the claimants for facing the managers of a big and worldwide strong group. It was pointed out more than once, without any official denial, that the group receives a strong contribution from the Nobel Foundation, which is in charge of granting the traditional prizes that have the same name. At the same time, the company financially supports the Atlas Foundation, that is in fact a kind of an aristocratic club, where prevail the relevant professions in each country where Atlas Copco has operations. With a right and capitalist ideology, compounded by lawyers, doctors, economists, and the local bourgeoisie. But the company that is worldwide well known because of their activities and social links in the 2010 appear on the headlines of the world press because of the corruption in one of its branches, Atlas Copco Argentina. A labor trial identified with the file number 3598-2008 entitled Johan Daniel Atilio against Atlas Copco Argentina, his dismissal, that at the end, thanks to the malpractice of the local professional hired, revealed a criminal and illegal association, compounded by notaries, public officials, lawyers, politics, and members of the judicial power. Daniel Yuan is an engineer that joined the company in 1991 and in the middle of 
the 2008 Eric Fren Mill took the position of manager director in Argentina. He came from Belgium as well as the CEO Ron Letton and the regional manager Oscar Dupree. The new leadership replaced the previous one integrated mostly by Italian guys that didn't lose any opportunity to do business in their own profit, even with a total lack of ethics. The naive trust on lawyers as Juan Eduardo Curuchet, Vice President of the Banco de la Ciudad, Jorge Eduardo Anzorregui, and Juan José Sforza, well known for representing powerful holdings, Santiago Miguel Fernández Carir and his partners made that the label trial became in a penal trial. That is under the investigation of the federal judge Norberto Oyarvide. And in their attempts to change the first instance sentence of the labor trial, they have generated a huge stampede in the court label, where many of the official servants fell under suspicion of having received bribes for supporting Atlas Copco Argentina and their managers, as well as to get rid of Yuan. With that, the company is really in trouble, and the situation surpassed the U.S. investigation about the bribes that Atlas Copco might have paid to Saddam Hussein in Iraq, or the investigation in Mexico that involved the local branch together with the British Bank for washing money. Eric Van Meel and Carlos de la Fuente have disregarded the indications of their bosses. They bet to a fast solution that ended soiling them and dragging the company to the media derision, proper for scoundrels and delinquents. We invite all of you to look for information related at Ascopco Argentina. You will see that a company that is well considered in Stockholm as an example of honesty, transparency and politics against corruption has left, as well as its, as its own as its fellow firm. Skanska, a mark that will be very difficult to forget because of the scandal it has produced in the society. If you are against corruption, against the abuse of power, against the monopoly, and want to spread this uh, justice message, please share this video with all your contacts. You are going to build a fair world without rented information to hide those who became wealthy with the work and pain.